Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the analysis of this channel. William Samuel Ruto has made a lot of steps ahead of Raila Molodinga since he was announced as the president-elect of this Republic of Kenya. I've been maintaining saying that when it comes to politics, this is not a church. You have to work hard and ensure that you've gotten numbers in your side. The sharpness in William Samuel Ruto, right now he is preparing of the next steps. As Raira Morodinga and as Mio team are preparing to, to take to get the matter to court, to the Supreme Court, William Samuel Ruto is getting a lot of support. Today alone, the UDM party has given William Samuel Ruto one senator, two governors, and 35 MCS. That is a major pro to Raila Morodinga. On top of that, that one was around three hours ago, and it's like one hour ago, William Samuel Ruto has received two MPs in his camp. Now, when you look at that alone, that one is a milestone ahead of Raila Molodinga, and that one is going to cost Raila Molodinga just in case the Supreme Court is going to nullify the presidential results. Before I go deep to the analysis of this specific video, just in case you are here for the first time and you've not subscribed to this channel, kindly take a moment and subscribe so that every time I upload a new video, YouTube will automatically notify you. And for the returning subscribers, thank you very much for always supporting this channel. This far, it is because of you. William Samuel Ruto right now is going to control the Senate and when it comes to Parliament. As you know, the moment you have the highest number of MPs and Senates, you will control both the houses. Now that the MPs are going to vote for the are going to vote for, are going to vote for the speaker. We know from the side of Azimio, they were, they, were, they were to produce Kalonzo Msioka and Kenya Kwanza side to produce uh, Moses Masika Wetangura. Now that William Samuel Ruto is harvesting huge, he's likely to control the Senate and Parliament when it comes to numbers. Also, when we look at a minority and a majority leader, the, the UDA side is going to control. Now what is remaining for Raila Morodinga? When, when it comes to independent candidates, yesterday William Samuel Ruto received 10 of them. Those 10 are going to add number in the side of, as, uh, in the side of Kenya Kwanza. And that is an added advantage to William Samuel Ruto. William Samuel Ruto, I've said, is sharp when it comes to making steps ahead. As Raila Morodinga is traveling with the case in Supreme Court, you can see he's preparing his house. Just in case we are going for a relay, William Samuel Ruto is going to get another post from the northeastern region, especially from Mandera, where the UDM leader, part leader and the Mandela senator elect are coming from. You know very well this area, Raira Morodinga got a lot of votes and he enjoys a lot of support from the region. Now that they have joined Kenya Kwanza, in case we are going to have a relearn, 
assessing the stairs rigging of foots, then Raila Morodinga is going to fail terribly. This is something as Raila Morodinga is working on the other side, he, he should make sure that he has maintained his number and nobody is living as Miola Moja. Now that those who are living from Azmiola Moja are joining Kenya Kwanza, they are making Raila Morodinga to lose even when it comes to Rila. We are not concluding that there are those who are moving from other parties to join Kenya Kwanza. We are expecting more to join Kenya Kwanza as days are moving. When when we were when we were expecting Kenya to have to to have a new constitution or to amend, we saw William Samuel Ruto getting a lot of support to vote against the amendment of the constitution, and that happened. It favored the side of Kenya Kwanza, and this is also going to happen for the big blow to Raila Morodinga if he's not going to take caution. The Asmio team are sleeping as uh, William Samoy Ruto is making all possibilities that he's going to win when it comes to Rila, of which it is likely to happen as I have mentioned. Thank you for watching this short analysis I had for you this evening. Keep on supporting this channel as I keep on bringing to you what is happening in Kenya and outside Kenya. Thank you.